Hi, I'm Brian Sullivan, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from James. He asks, how do I get around the DEX limit? Before we talk about getting around the DEX limit, let's discuss what it is and how to avoid hitting the limit. Android applications contain bytecode in the form of Delvic executable, or DEX files. The build architecture limits the total number of methods that can be referenced within a single DEX file to 65,536, or 65K. This number includes Android framework methods, library methods, and methods in your own code. So before configuring your app to enable use of 65K or more method references, you should review your app's direct and transitive dependencies and remove unused code with ProGuard. If you must get past this limit, configure the build process to generate more than one DEX file. This is known as multi-DEX configuration. Setting up your app development project to use a multi-DEX configuration requires that you make a few modifications. In particular, you need to change your Gradle build configuration to enable multi-DEX and modify your manifest to re reference the multi-DEX application class. Prior to Android 5.0, the Delvic runtime limits apps to a single DEX file per APK. In order to get around this limitation, you can use the multi-DEX support library, which becomes part of the primary DEX file of your app, and then manages access to the additional DEX files and the code they contain. Android 5.0 and higher uses a runtime called ART, which natively supports loading multi-DEX files from the application APK files. ART performs pre-compilation at application install time, which scans for multiple DEX files and compiles them into a single OAT file for execution by the Android device. Fortunately, Android released build tools for multi-DEX in late 2014. This support makes it much simpler to get around the DEX limit. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments below.